Well, I just got back from doing a measurement session with a local client here. You can see the CAD model I've got up on my screen. It's kind of a cool little fixture. It holds a part, and it's cl the part is actually clamped into place here with these clamps. You can see a datum block here. Kind of a typical little uh, little fixture adjusting exercise. So, But what was cool about this event, and I, this is what I wanted to show you guys, is that Notice here, if I zoom in on this little area, I have got a coordinate system that came through the CAD model in this area here. It's kind of buried in the middle of the, of the fixture plate here. It's got nothing to do with the part that we're adjusting. So what I found out though is that when I wanted to adjust these blocks for any kind of an X and a Y or a Z coordinate, these are not square to that grid. So it was impossible. If I needed to move this a half a mil, I wasn't getting a half a millimeter out of the movement of the shim. So what I decided is, hey, let's put an initial coordinate system in this corner here. In fact, I'll show you over here. I'll middle mouse button push down. You'll see it. It's grayed out in this corner here. And I'm going to show you guys how we created this coordinate system. So I just thought that would be kind of a nice topic if you guys are ever given a CAD model that's got a coordinate system that is either irrelevant to the part or it makes it tough to adjust a fixture or maybe it's in a totally different location than what the drawing wants it to be measured to. You can easily create coordinate systems inside of Polyworks by going down to this area right here of the coordinate systems. So let me do this a second. I'm going to show you in my model tree how I've got three these little things here. These three little uh, features that I've actually picked on the CAD model and I don't necessarily need to measure them since they're nominal features picked from the CAD. I'm just going to use those features to create a nominal coordinate system. Okay, so I've got plate plane one, plane two, and plane three. So these three features kind of form a, uh, a perpendicular plane coordinate system here in the corner. So I'm going to hide this middle mouse button push down to hide that because I'm going to create a new one for you guys. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to come under coordinate systems here and then I'm going to highlight him with the left mouse key, then the right mouse key create okay so here's what shows up this dialog box here and I'm gonna rename this a second to all of these these features or coordinate systems can be renamed so let's call this the initial coordinate system and here it is the primary uh, the primary feature I'm gonna use is gonna be my plate plane so I can find that here in the in the structure here in this tree there it is plate plane number one and again it's a nominal I'm creating this nominal coordinate system from the nominals in the CAD so I click I pick on that and then I'll come up here the secondary is gonna be my plane two okay and that is right here now watch when I click on that I'm left mouse key clicking on that Notice this in my uh, in my scene here, my 3D scene. I've got this trihedron that just jumped over to here now. Okay, now let's run back to the tree here and go my tertiary. I would like to be my plane three, and it's the nominal. So watch this when I click on this with the left mouse key. Notice what happens. That trihedron just jumped to this corner, which is solved by those three perpendicular planes. So let me. Well, I don't want to close just yet. Let me do this. Notice that if I hit my space bar, my finger point tool turns into that, uh, that I don't know, selection tool of, or this is my rotation tool. So what I'm doing is I'm getting back and I'm just showing you guys how this coordinate system is now at the corner of those three planes. Okay, but now check this out. This is one thing that's super, super um, robust about coordinate system construction in Polyworks. I will punch on the space bar again. Now notice I've got the finger pointing tool, and if I don't like my X and my Y and my Z pointing in these directions, if you click on the arrow, watch what happens. So I can manipulate now every time I hit the left mouse key, it is rotating around that axis 
to put it into any coordinate system that you would like that's still solved by those three planes. Okay, so check that out. It is super robust. So whatever direction you want the X and the Y and the Z to point the vector positive, it is totally up to you by punching on these rotation around the axes. So I say that looks pretty good. I go up here to create and then I can close it. So check this out now. In my model tree under the coordinate systems, I've got this coordinate system I just constructed called the initial chord system. And then Polyworks has made that active as well. And you can see that it's active by its color. All right, so that is an easy way to put a coordinate system onto your part that might make this fixture a little bit easier for me to dial in. And then once I got done with all of the uh, all of these features, once they were all dialed in, you can come back to the world coordinate system, right click, and then hit activate. And then notice this coordinate system here in the corner turns gray, and then this one here that came through the CAD model is active again, and you can see that because of its color.